Don't even bother attempting to lose weight. Don't even bother. It's not going to work. Don't do it. It's not going to work. Why would you even try? Don't even try to do better for yourself. Don't even try. No, it's not healthy. Be big. The bigger, the better. That's what she said. <gasps> the following program is rated TV M-A-N-O-C. It contains a big pair of nuts directly on your chin. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Swolio, back with some more nuts on your chin. Thank you so much for being here. This hair and this beard is getting out of control. The more woke stuff that is posted online, the longer this beard grows. So please, can we bring the sanity back to our world, please? Unfortunately, I think that is not happening anytime soon, but we're gonna get into this in just a moment. Welcome to everyone that might be new to the channel. And before you do anything, if you love this kind of content every day, drop it down below in the comments, but hit that subscribe button. If you're watching my videos and you're kind of creeping in the corner, you're keeping quiet, trust me, we are an island in a sea of insanity. We need your support. You need to be here and you need to be plugged in if you agree with this BS because you are subjected to this crap at work from your friends, from your family, from social media, from the mainstream media. You are getting assaulted with all of this crap every single day. So come here for some straight shit. So smash that subscribe button right now. I shall wait and stroke the beard while I wait for you to touch the button. Click it. See that? Yes. Touch that button. It's right there. Oh, this hair is everywhere. Oh, Mama Swolio needs to clean this up. Mama Swolio. Anyway, if you are also brand new, remember that we have some awesome stuff going on inside the Swole Fam. You've probably been watching the awesome new series, Forging Pillars, looking through a lot of the success stories inside the Swole Fam, or you might also be catching us live every single day on the Daily Swole channel for the Daily Swole podcast. But make sure you go and check out SwoleNormousX.com. But down below in my description box, you will find free classes. You will find information on how to download your free copy of the seven pillars of Swolnormous. You could all check it out down below and also SwolnormousX.com. Got lots of apparel over at SwolnormousApparel.com. Lots of channels, lots of things. Go in the description box and check out SwolnormousX.com. That is the best place to go for your fitness, for your livelihood. I mean, total lifestyle is what it takes for you to be healthy, you know? And the post that we're gonna talk about today, there's this misconception that it's just dieting the food and just the training. It's much more than that. That's why that's not successful. That's why there is a fitness industry. It's because people are missing all the other fundamentals, the seven pillars. People are missing it completely whoosh, over their head. They're only focusing on how many calories am I eating or which is the best move to build my bicep peak. Like these are things that happen with hard work and relentless effort with the basics. And people are missing all the more important things that are gonna help them lose weight, feel better, be more consistent, have better relationships, all those things. So seven pillars all fucking day. Now check out this post. We talk about being an island of sanity in a sea of insanity. The island of truth right here, the salty sack. This is from Fierce Fatty. And conveniently enough, this pie chart actually matches her hair. So yay, good job there. Gotta be this neon freaking pink puce, whatever the heck you call this color. It is just abrasively pink. There's no need for that on a pie chart. I'm not sure why it's hyper pink, but it's borderline fluorescent and it hurts my eye holes, so I don't appreciate that. Uh, what happens when you attempt weight loss? Ooh, what happens when you attempt weight loss? Possibly success, possibly lifestyle changes, possibly eating less food, not stuffing your face with fast food every moment and every chance you get, not drinking alcohol excessively, not drinking your calories with milk, with soda, with just pure sugar, just crap, pumpkin spice lattes, all that BS. Oh, soulnormousapparel.com. Fuck your pumpkin spice. But it's pumpkin spice season, fam. It's pumpkin spice season, the pumpkin spice. Fuck your pumpkin spice apparel is available now at swanormousapparel.com. Links down below. But that being said, let's read through this train wreck. So you see that little sliver, that little tiny yellow? Zero to 5% chance of long-term weight loss. Zero to 5%. This is hearkening back to that one little study or that one misinterpret thing that if you try to lose weight, 96% of diets fail. Look, 
no matter what you're talking about, if you're doing things wrong, if you're approaching anything the wrong way, you're not gonna get good results. If you're trying crash dieting, if you're doing all this stupid fit tea crap, of course you're gonna have problems, of course, because you're following terrible advice. You're not doing anything properly, of course you're gonna fail. If you make a car with one wheel, is it gonna work? No. 96% of cars with one wheel fail. It's like, this is nonsense, okay? Because a lot of people that attempt weight loss have great success because they actually do it the right way. So 95, so this neon pink, this neon pink hair matching pie chart, 95% chance of staying the same weight or gaining weight. So the real bullshit behind this kind of posting and these types of things and this type of language and this type of the reason, the purpose for this posting is don't even attempt weight loss. The problem with this bullshit is that they're saying, she's saying this pie chart, all these fat acceptance people, they're saying that if you attempt weight loss, it's not gonna work out for you. So why attempt weight loss? Intuitively eat, do what you want, enjoy your body, love your body. It's all of them. It's diet culture. It's the bad white man that's telling you to do this. Don't try to lose weight because it's not gonna work anyway. That's that's horse shit. It's absolute pure and simple horse shit. Two thirds of dieters develop disordered eating patterns. One third develop an eating disorder. Two thirds of dieters regain more whey than they lost you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna post bullshit, if you're gonna post this fucking nonsense, please, please, please spell properly. <coughs> oh, I think I'm allergic to stupidity. Oh, it's so stupid. Oh, it's so dumb. Ah. Oh. Two thirds of dieters regain more whey than they lost. Increased risk of cardiovascular disease, type two diabetes, high blood pressure, self harm behaviors, cortisol levels. So you're saying that 95% of people that attempt to lose weight have an increased risk of cardiovascular disease, type two diabetes. So you're saying people that attempt to lose weight have a higher risk of type two diabetes. It's like 40% of the population is pre-diabetic or has diabetes. Like you're just using the stats that exist. You're talking about people that make terrible decisions with their health, try crash diets, try all these extremes, don't stick to anything, don't do it properly. Of course, they're already at higher risk for cardiovascular disease. These are people that are already at risk for type two diabetes. These are people that already have high blood pressure. These are people that already probably have self-harm behaviors because they're obese to begin with and they're been eating trash their entire life. Cortisol level stress, people are stressed out. We got the vid going around, people don't have jobs, people are just looking at their computer screens and their cell phones all night long, people aren't sleeping, cortisol levels are through the roof already, not to mention all the inflammation and that negative response from eating crap food. So this is just, you're, just, you're not telling us anything new. This is just the average population that has problems. Lower body image and self-esteem, increased weight stigma, feelings feelings. Enough. Oh, but don't forget this one. Hey, this pie chart, this is the big one here. Et cetera, et cetera. Have you ever seen on an actual pie chart that makes coherent sense, like a scientific pie chart that says et cetera, et cetera. Oh, all those other things that I can't think of, but that's out there. Yeah. And all the other stuff too. Fuck you. All right. Here's the caption. Yes. Even if you try to lose weight the healthy way. It gets better. It gets better. Check out this caption. Yes, even if you try to lose weight the healthy way. Yes, even if you are trying to lose weight for health reasons. Yes, even if you are trying to lose weight to become more athletic. Yes, even if you think that you're being sensible about it and not doing anything silly, like putting cucumbers up your bum and rubbing turmeric in your eyeballs. No judgment. I understand some people can't afford dildos, so a cucumber might be a decent option. Be careful. But rubbing turmeric in your eye, how is that actually a description of anything coherent that makes sense? What does this neon pink pie chart have to do with jamming a cucumber up your a-hole and rubbing turmeric in your eyeballs? What are you talking about? What are you smoking? It must be amazing. I'd like to try it because you sound like you are tripping balls. And by the way, it's 10,000%. I wonder if that adds into that percentage with the et cetera. That's a high percentage. That sounds very, 
very scientific. It's a 10,000% okay to put on weight after dieting. <laughs> I mean, people put on weight after they got out of the concentration camps in World War II, so it's 10,000% okay to just get obese. We're just gonna use other types of justification like that, shall we? It'd be weird if you didn't. It'd be weird if you didn't put on weight after starving yourself. So if you're doing it the wrong way and then put on weight, it'd be weird if you didn't gain weight back. Yeah, if you're doing stuff the wrong way and started doing stuff the right way, it'd be weird if you didn't change. Having a higher weight is not a bad thing. Relative to what? Sure, being 400 pounds as opposed to 300 is definitely a bad thing. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You, what are you talking about? But if you're dieting to be smaller, then you're probably shut out of luck. I'm sure she meant a different vowel there. But if you're dieting to be smaller, oh, oh, you're trying to be smaller? You're trying to be smaller? It's all about, oh, I don't want to feel bad about myself. I don't wanna feel bad about myself. If you're trying to look a different way than I already look, you're a bad person. You shouldn't do that because I'm self-conscious about the way I look, so you can't change your life. It's not about being smaller. It's not about losing weight per se. That's a side effect of actually taking care of your health. Everyone's gonna weigh different weights. Everyone's gonna be different heights. Everyone's gonna have different faces, different skin colors. Like people are always gonna look different. Details are always gonna be different, but we can all agree that if you're taking care of your health, you're not gonna be morbidly obese. It's just, it's not gonna happen. The best part, the kicker. For the sources on the stats above, go check out Christy Harrison's book, Anti-Diet. So if you're gonna make a train wreck post, why don't you cite a train wreck book? So right there, it's like, oh, this whole entire post is absolute nonsense, just like we thought by first impression. But what do you think, fam? Do you think that when you attempt weight loss, you automatically fail? When you attempt to lose weight the right way, it's absolutely a terrible idea? Don't improve your health because it might hurt someone else's feelings. Don't do anything that's optimal for your life because someone else might be offended. Well, fuck your feelings and lose weight if you need to. Take care of your health. And if you really want to learn how to do this, no joke, if you want to learn how to do this, go check out all the testimonials, go check out the community, go check out the seven pillars all at swolenormousx.com. We have amazing options for memberships. You can get started for less than three bucks. Check all the links down below. There's nothing like the Swole Fam and there's nothing like Swolenormous X. We have full programs. We have the 90 day dash program. We have Scorched Earth. We have Swole Season. We have customizable programs. We're adding new training content every single week. We have a full recipe archive. You have the Nutrition Jumpstart. We help you meal prep. We have an entire recipe archive adding new recipes every single week. It's not just one static thing that you have that never changes. We're always adding new content, always adding new recipes. We add new yoga classes every week. We have over 105 or 110 yoga classes that you could stream 24 hours a day seven damn days a week. Also have an uh, entire meditation center with hundreds of meditation classes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and 30 minute brain gain sessions, an entire Swolosophy archive, a masterclass section. There's just so much stuff. Swollen seven, seven minute workouts with dumbbells, barbells, uh, bands, kettlebells. We have foam rolling Swollen sevens where you can do your mobility in seven minutes. Like everything is inside Swolenormous X and you can do it on your TV, on your computer, on your phone, on your tablet. People take Swolenormous X everywhere plus you get access to the best fitness fam in the realm. Links down below for swolenormousx.com. Trust me, in 2020, which is a hot mess, you see this stuff all the time. This kind of thinking, this kind of pussification of our society is spreading into your workplace. You're seeing it in all different aspects of your life, family, friends, coworkers, it's very important to stay level-headed. It's very important to go internal and work on yourself. You can't control what other people say, you can't control what other people feel. But what you can do is block out the bullshit and take care of your health. So thank you so much for watching. Again, subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button before you click the link for swolormousx.com, and I'll see you fam real soon for some more nuts on your chin. Peace the fuck out. Even if you think you're being sensible about it and not doing anything silly like putting a horn up your bum and rubbing this peppermint tip in your eyeballs, <laughs> right up that ooh, right up that ooh, goose him.
Goose, goosey goose, goosey goose. <laughs> you don't need a cucumber when you got this sexy ass peppermint tip. You know you want some. You know you want some. So normalsex.com. Oh. We stay woke, but y'all sleep. Real emo, but y'all sheep. Out in public, she a good girl, but at the crib, she a real queen. New throne for the new king. Same kid, now my streets go. Same gang, got the cheat code. I said, stay woke. We in real emo. I said, stay woke. Real emo. Stay woke. Real emo. I said, stay woke. Real emo. Stay woke. Real emo. I said, stay woke. Real emo. Stay woke. Real emo. I said, stay woke. Real emo. Stay woke. Cause you're a bunch of clowns You will not get a laugh out of me You can talk but you can't denounce I live a different theology Why I transfer to a new account You just fucked over a prodigy Posted up with a rented crown You are the king of the apology You about to see a new side of me I hope you know We stand up and watch your enemy go Empire fall, my legacy grows I might just hop on this melody flow All this vision, no play